don't have a lot of time, but we would be remiss if we didn't discuss hormones, especially uh, insulin. Tell us about the role of insulin when it comes to weight loss and weight gain and what we could do to control or stabilize insulin. Insulin is heard by your brain as saying you have energy available. It's a signal to your brain that it doesn't need to burn fat because there should be glucose or energy circulating in your bloodstream. So if you just take a person and you feed them no food and you inject them with insulin, their brain will be reticent to burn fat because it thinks food is available. Because insulin says that's what the brain sees insulin as. So when we eat things like starches and sweets that spike our insulin, even if we are in a state of calorie deficit or negative caloric balance. It's very difficult for our body to burn fat. Instead, it will slow down and burn muscle tissue because it perceives insulin as in the bloodstream as saying you have enough food available to you. Don't burn body fat. And so uh, stabilizing insulin, are there, do you recommend nutritional supplements to work with insulin or do you recommend just dietary strategies? Focusing on eating the most nutrient-dense foods in the world, non-starchy vegetables, nutrient-dense protein, whole food fats, and low fructose fruits will automatically and effortlessly keep your insulin levels in a healthy, sustainable range. What about the role of high fructose corn syrup when it comes to difficulties losing weight and when it comes to weight gain? High fructose corn syrup has been shown, well, fructose in general has been shown in clinical studies to alter the baseline levels of satiety hormones in your body, meaning that if you take a rodent and you just pump them full of fructose versus another form of sugar like glucose, that rat will need to eat more calories to feel the same level of satisfaction oh. in the future. So forget about the, the fructose ingestion at that time, just like next week. They will wow. need to eat more calories to feel fuller because the fructose has actually caused inflammation in the satiety centers of their brain. So it raises, it raises the set point via inflammation in the brain? That's exactly right. And it's, well, there's a lot of foods that do this. For example, MSG does this, trans fats do this, and that's why eating the foods we've described here, these whole nutrient-dense foods are so important because independent of the calorie, these edible products make you fat. What's your take on supplementation? Do you supplement? I supplement with supplements that I put in quotations because they're actually closer to whole foods. For example, is fish oil a supplement or is it a food? Is, is spirulina a supplement or is it a food? Is desiccated beef liver a no, those, supplement or is I'm it I'm thinking food? more like vitamin C, the B complex, basically your, your essential nutrients more than foods, although fish oil kind of crosses both lines, I suppose. But I'm thinking more like uh, the basic essential nutrients, essential vitamins, essential minerals, um, essential fatty acids, think, that kind I of think thing. Taking a, I think I think taking a multivitamin, I think taking an, an insurance policy is a good idea. I think focusing on it as a supplement rather than a replacement is critical, but I do think it's an effective insurance policy. Now, I notice I'm looking at your pictures and, and your YouTubes, and you're a pretty thin guy. You're a pretty lean guy. Were you ever over overweight? I wasn't. In fact, I started this journey because I was a naturally thin person, and I wanted to understand. I knew that I wasn't just morally superior. I wasn't trying harder than people other than me. And I said, what is it about my biology that makes me stay slim without really trying? No one's asked that question before. And that's what took me down this path of understanding the neurobiology, gastroenterology, and endocrinology, which underlies obesity. It's not a moral issue. It's a, it's a hormonal and neurological and uh, gastrointestinal issue. So you, uh, your, your problem was actually you wanted to gain weight, is that right? That's exactly right. And it was ironically as difficult for me to gain weight, and this applies to millions of other people around the world. You probably know one of them. You probably resent them. <laughs> and the question is, like, how can, that, how can that be? How can one species, Homo sapiens, have people who have a hard time gaining weight and have people that have a hard time losing weight? It has to be more than just calories at play, and that's what my book looks at. How would somebody gain weight? We've been talking about losing weight. How would somebody gain weight? Just reverse, do everything that people need to do uh, to lose weight in, in reverse? That, well, that would cause them to gain fat, and it would cause them to become metabolically deranged and diabetic. So the way someone would want to gain weight to an ideal body composition would be through, I would say, a, an abundance of healthy whole food fats and nutrient-dense protein. So think smoothies, just rich in coconut and mm. cocoa. But it's, it's not easy. I, I can speak from experience. Trying to eat 6,000 calories per day from whole natural foods is not easy easy but at the same time you don't want to become diabetic 
So, so you have to you have to just listen to your body and focus on taking in more whole food fats and nutrient dense protein if your goal is to gain healthy weight. Now you said cocoa a couple of times. So what's what's the deal with cocoa? What's your take on that? It seems medicinal more than it is nutritional to me. Cocoa, as you know, is just extremely high in super powerful antioxidants, which are hard to find anywhere else, not to mention it's also the single most craved substance in the world. So what a lot of people find is that their sweet cravings can be addressed by just eating something with cocoa in it. You, so you don't mean Hershey bars, though. It, you don't, you're not talking about Hershey bars. No, no, no. I'm talking about cocoa, not not chocolate. Chocolate is cocoa uh. with a dramatic amount of other stuff put in it. But if you use cocoa as an ingredient in a in a healthy dessert sweetened with a natural non caloric sweetener such as stevia, it can really do great things for your health as well as for your mental well being. Oh, uh, we got to leave it at there, uh, Jonathan. Thanks so much. That was a fast moving hour, buddy. Jonathan Baylor. His book is The Calorie Myth. His website is caloriemythbook.com. He's also got another great book called The Smarter Science of Slim. Thank. Thank you so much, Jonathan Baylor. That was a very enlightening hour. Hope we get to talk again soon. Thank you so much, Ben. Take care, bro. Have a beautiful day. All right. That was Jonathan Baylor. Thanks so much for listening, folks. Tomorrow we'll continue talking about connective tissue. We'll tell you about the Brazilian blowout, which is a hair treatment that features the amino acid cysteine as we continue talking about protein and peptides and building strong, vital connective tissue. That's all the time we have for today. Thanks for listening, folks. Have a wonderful, beautiful day. We'll talk to you all later. Bye for now. The state of our drinking water today is worse than at any time in human history. Studies show that most drinking water contains heavy metals, aluminum, chromium-6, agricultural, and industrial toxins. If you get regular headaches, migraines, chronic pain, foggy thinking, fatigue, or nervous system malfunctions, you may have a buildup of these harmful toxins. This week at waterwebinar.com, in an all-new free webinar, Earth's most powerful cleansing secret is being revealed. Use it to neutralize inorganic particles like lead, aluminum, arsenic, and even mercury and remove these accumulated poisons from your body. These toxins accumulate in your body over time and can cause many problems. You can get them out. Go to waterwebinar.com now and sign up for free to find out how to turn even the worst tap water imaginable into pristine water with powerful healing properties. It's your body, your water, your freedom. You have a right to drink pristine, clean water. Come and claim it. Go to waterwebinar.com now. That's waterwebinar.com. Go now and sign up for free. Time and time again. You need to come here and help us. We need assistance. Please. Those we should be able to depend on let us down. Federal and state and local officials saying help is on the way. Will the folks here in Bell Harbor say show me? Don't depend on the government to save you. Take action now so that you're prepared for the next disaster with MyPatriotSupply.com. Get the best prices on storable food, non-GMO seeds, water filtration devices, home canning equipment, survival and self-reliance books, and more at MyPatriotSupply.com. Call 866-229-0927. We are hurting down here, and we need help immediately. Before it's time to survive, it's time to prepare. MyPatriotSupply.com. MyPatriotSupply.com.